Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we're looking at a new and possibly very, very powerful attack strategy. I haven't seen a whole lot of it, but from what I've seen, this thing can crush bases. Um, two attacks to show in this video. It is the six hog attack, I guess you can call it. Basically, it's kind of reminiscent of that golem avalanche we used to see people do with like four or five golems where you kind of go surgically around the base with the golems and the jump spells. It's not quite that, but it kind of has that same feel. It's very golem heavy. This one has a queen walk though, which is very interesting, but I think the queen walk um, can be very powerful when paired with the kill squad because you can do the queen walk. Then after the queen walk's complete, the healers can continue to heal other stuff inside the base. Um, this attack and both attacks actually are by Monty G. So good stuff he's bringing. Um, really like these attacks. And I, I don't know if it's specifically going to be called the Monty G. I don't know if he's the person who can has the right to coin this term, but um, he's been using it very successfully. And I guess you guys can see that in these two attacks here. So the queen's going to take out the um, lava pups. And then basically she meets up, and this is typically how the attack goes from what I've seen. The queen walk meets up with these golems, which enter into the base kind of all in one spot. One golem did go for a bit of a walk, but he still gets pretty good value because um, wizards back it up and they take out defenses uh, as that golem's tanking. So you drop the jump, the heroes go in, the golems go in, the bowlers go in. So a lot of power going into this base. Uh, the funnel has to be pretty good, and it is because the queen walk does one side, then the wizards can do the other. But what are these utility hogs? What are they for? They're for luring out the CC, and they are basically for protecting your kill squad in the middle of the base from defenses they can't quite reach. So the top two hogs, great value, gets, I think, two defenses taken out while the golems are tanking. The uh, bottom one's not as much because those Teslas locked onto them, so possibly could have saved those hogs. Um, but those hogs are for defenses that are being tanked. So you can get some incredible value from just one or two hogs on a defense. If it's locked onto a golem, or even like a bowler that's being healed by a healer, um, that defense is going to have a hard time switching onto that hog, and the hog can get some great value. So I guess the key to this strategy is just finding a good path through the base with your kill squad, having a good queen walk that meets up with it before that, and then using those hogs where needed. There's no real plan as to where you're going to use the hogs. Just drop them in where needed, and you can get some incredible value. Um, these attacks have all been crushing bases. It seems like if you can get things going just in the base and you can get those hogs going for good trades you can really crush some bases so moving on here to this next one um uh right here number 38 another attack by monty g like i said and starts the queen back on the king now i don't mean to be that guy but if he had just dropped a few barbs to tank um i would have felt a lot better about this queen walk because he gets so low right here um, I just, it felt unnecessary and it gave me a little bit of anxiety watching it, even though I know it's going to be a three star. So a few barbs never hurt an attack. I'm a big fan of using like small troops for just little purposes like that. So I would have done that personally because the queen versus the king, even with four healers on her side, doesn't always work out too well. So something to think about, but like I said, the utility hogs here, going to use them for the CC lure. That's often what they're used for because you it's just safe to take out the CC on the queen walk. A little bit more reliable. And then also you're going to use them to take out those defenses towards the back end. Now you might be wondering, okay, why use the hogs at all? Just bring more wizards or bring an extra golem or something. And the reason is... It's especially on fresh attacks, which Town Hall 9s typically are. It's the first attack on that base. You don't know where the Teslas are. There's going to be some kind of weird balance where your troops aren't going to spread out evenly. Parts of the base aren't going to be um, shooting your defenses while they can't fight back. They're too far away. The hogs are there for the unexpected and to kind of polish off the kill squad. So they're not the main star of the show. You're not going to use any heal spells on them. They're just there to kind of polish stuff off and to be used as needed. So that's the best way I can explain it. I definitely recommend bringing the hogs. Don't bring too many. Once you get to be like above 8 to 10, it starts to be like, should I bring a heal spell? So if you keep it low, just around 6 or so, 
that's that's going to be a good number, which justifies using all your spells on the kill squad. Um, but you have enough hogs to be able to do something to a few defenses on the back end. So I believe he has not deployed his king yet, from what I've seen. Um, I could be wrong, but from, I, I didn't even notice this when I was watching it the first time. Yep, there's the king. Don't know what happened there, but really doesn't matter. Still has two hogs left to deploy. The healers are going to keep those bowlers up um, pretty much infinitely. Uh, Pops the queen's ability has like two golems on this wall. These bases are just crushed twice and three times over. So incredible stuff to watch. Great attacks to Monty G. And guys, I hope you liked this video. It was a short one, but I think it kind of illustrates the power of the strategy. And maybe you guys can test it out in some friendly challenges and possibly some wars of your own. See if you like it. So just uh, wanted to throw this one out here in case this is a strategy you guys want to try out. But thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.